Welcome to another Appster testimonial after our rapid concept workshop. We're here with Chris, who's just finished his recent workshop and got a few questions. So, how did you how did you find the workshop? And basically, and like, what were sort of your favorite parts about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really know what to expect when I sort of first had a go at it. Um, you know, it was something that I was attracted I was attracted to straight off the bat because I'd been to a few other different app companies and stuff, and I found that that was something new. That was mm-hmm. something that I hadn't been offered before. And then, you know, the first day was very sort of information heavy, you know, but, but really just overload of information. But having said that, I think that was quite helpful yeah. because I think it got you in the right headspace. It got you in the right mindset. And it just made me aware of a lot of the little jargony things and a lot of the acronyms and that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that then when we were doing the actual ICW, we didn't have to waste time with the, you know, with the, this is what this means as much. Mm. And you know, recapping a lot yeah, of Yeah, recapping all that sort of stuff. It, was, it, had, it gave it a lot more flow, I think, having that first initial day. Um, you know, and then days, days two and three were you know, unreal. Like, I, I could have kept going. I was, right. It's just, you bounce off each other and, um, you know, it's ultimately now there's so many features mm. and things to do with my app that I've just would never have come up with on my own. I was going to say, like, did you find that, like, we didn't have a completely fully formed idea when you came in, but is there definitely certain aspects that sort of come out a bit more? Totally. And, and, you know, I think in my own head now, I'm able to picture that a lot more. Mm. Um, because, I, you know, I don't think that's just, just me. I think just having the ability for you guys to we bounce off each other, you know what I mean? Mm. I think that's great. Yeah. And so, like, what was the thing that also made it sort of stand out for us as a developer? Because you said you looked at a couple. What was the thing? Yeah. Main thing? Um, there's a few really major points um, that made it stand out. Number one, you got the website right. <laughs> <laughs> it might sound trivial, but for me that was a huge thing because you know ultimately that's the sort of thing that you're trying to do. You're building an app, you're building you know, web things, you're doing that side of stuff. And you'd be amazed at how many app companies and that don't have a good website. You know, mm. it's just stuff whereas I I really loved I was taken straight off by that because it wasn't so much about what you were actually saying but it was more about the fact that it was presented well and it was structured properly and it was programmed properly you know there was and then even there wasn't too much information there wasn't no information I don't know I just think you guys nailed that um and that was huge that was just a huge thing for me I was just like and I think it's sort of like we discussed ourselves that it's because of that feel and that look that what makes it like that's sort of what sort of gets that part across is that's really important in apps it's like it's not just websites no like, totally I mean, you can just tell that you've actually put the effort to do that you know even like we were discussing how it used to be blue and then you found out orange was better you know that doesn't just that's not just a story you're telling you that's me going okay well, so they've actually put the effort into themselves so they're going to put the effort into everyone else yeah and that's one of the best ways of teaching is this fact of like we've discussed this as well like it's a case of teaching what you've been through yourself is one of the best ways to learn from it so we've gone through all those experiences where I'd pass a lot of that on so I definitely think it's where, where hopefully we can give a lot more insight on that yeah definitely yeah. Well, that was yeah I mean the best way to learn anything to teach it to somebody else so what do you think in terms of if someone was coming up with their own app idea, what would sort of be, what, how, what would you suggest before coming in or how would you sort of get them across the line if they're thinking about it? I suppose that's, that's the major question mm. <laughs> right around the world. Like, you know, I mean, how many great ideas are there that'll never get made? Mm. You know, how many brilliant musicians are there that'll never get hurt? How many, you know, that, that's the thing. It, it's literally, it's about taking that first step. And I think the way to do that is when you're presented with a problem, which or, or even solutions. So break it down, you know, and break it down into steps and start at the bottom, step one, work your way up. And that that is what I found absolutely very good at. Yeah. You know, it was like, okay, yeah, cool. We, we, we can all see the potential here, but there are a whole bunch of steps involved in getting to that point. Mm. Um, let's start down here. Because this is, if we don't get this bit right down here, it's the foundations basically. If you don't get the foundations right, nothing works, and that's that's not just this industry. That's it's right now. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that makes sense because it is a case of yeah, we've all got the concept, but getting it to those steps, do you find it had just much more of a almost like could you see it much more by the end? Do you think? Yeah, totally. Like you know, I always had I had my ideas and I had my, my that sort of stuff, but now after the after the days, I feel I feel like I've almost got it. I can picture it. You know, I can almost see it now. Yeah. Whereas before, it was more just of an idea. And sure, I had all these different things, but, you know, one of those things was actually, one of the things for me was there were so many different avenues you could take mm-hmm. in the same thing that I kind of felt like, how am I ever going to narrow this down? How am I ever going to make these decisions and all that sort of stuff? But I think every decision that we made was, had a point, you know, mm-hmm. 
every comment, every opinion, and everything was justified by some form of reasoning on some some level. Yeah, and I suppose that's where it comes into that data-driven decisions. That's why Definitely, we push that yeah. a lot. Is because we know that there's so many options, but we have to find the best possible one. It won't always be the right one, but the best possible we can until we actually get it out there. Yeah, and so I think to you know, to actually answer your question, you know, what would I say to somebody? I would say, remember who you're building the app for. You know, something that I got from you guys was that, you know, it's not, I'm not building the app for me. I'm building the app for all these other people. So just because I like that thing doesn't mean that thing is the right feature to put in or the right avenue to take. Yeah, perfect. And I'll wrap it up with, so basically, you say you've got a friend or family who's thinking actually making it up. Would you suggest App Store to actually build it with? I already have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I actually already have. Um, you know, uh, I can't see why not. I mean, I, I went through a bunch and I landed here still. Excellent. Well, it's good to see that you're already referring us on. So that's perfect. <laughs> that's the way it works, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> that's it from our side. We'll hopefully see you again in the next testimonial. Thanks.